I hopeful I'm hopeful that they fix that soon. But that's probably a core physics change and you know I'm not expecting it. I'm just hopeful. So you're using uh, KSP through Steam. Yes. The, the mods that you have, do they automatically update through Steam? Uh, I couldn't tell you. Nice. The current parry is actually 25. That is cool. We got it this time. Now set a Kerbal alarm clock for the SOI. You know, um, you don't have to do that anymore, right? Because what you can do is you can actually just warp to the SOI. You can use the arrows that's built into there. So watch what I'm doing here. Uh, we've yeah. got these little double arrows. Uh, it takes me to three minutes before. Yeah, that's three minutes before. The, the Kerbal Alarm Clock does a little better ca calculation, so it's less wasted time. Eh. It's better for streaming. That's what I just want. And actually, it automatically set it up into the SOI there. Uh, the alarm clock is in there, I guess. It, so that thing just automatically puts that in there. That's weird. Uh, so, okay, how would I add... Oh, that's it right there. Okay. So I could say 15 seconds before, though. On an SOA, and that would be okay. Yeah, that that, that should be okay with uh, Kerbal alarm, alarm Clock, because they actually slow it down by the time it hits 15, so it's not so bad. Okay, so we definitely have enough for this, but what about, okay, let's see, I still have, yeah, I barely used anything for that correction. So I have 2,886. Um, so on this actual approach, should I circularize the orbit at 25 and then... Yeah, cir circularize it once you pass the SOI. Yeah, we've already passed the SOI. I did a save. Dang the screen. Okay, I really hope the Surface yes. 3 actually has a better resolution. Yeah, stream delay. Be circular. Yeah, okay, so that, that circle should work if, if that's what's past your SOI. Um, how much delta V will, will you have remaining afterwards? Uh, if I do this right and it only takes me 200 to do this maneuver, then... Uh... 2,686. You'll have plenty of delta V to get back home if you want to land and collect some science. Uh, okay, now the thing is, I will have to throw away, uh, how much is it going to take for me to actually land? Because I can't land with this stage, I will have to throw this stage away. So there's, will be 435 left in this stage, when we... Uh, no, that's in 
enough to land. Circulars. Min Min is a very right. low gravity. Will object. here's what I need to know is from takeoff to circularization to transfer back to Kerbin. Can I do that with two thousand two hundred? From oh, takeoff. Yes. Okay. Yes. Because I'm gonna have to ditch stage two. So whatever I have left over with the landing, I know that this is enough to land with this stage. I have to ditch it mid-landing, though. Right at the end of the landing, I have to ditch it. My landing legs are not on this stage. But you say you have 200 Delta V in the current stage? My current stage has 600. No, I'm talking after this the maneuver. maneuver of orbit. After the orbit maneuver, I'll have 400. That's enough to land on Minmus. Right. It's probably more than enough, and that means I'm going to have to throw some away, is what I'm saying. I'm going to have to ditch this tank with whatever's left in it. No, you can't. Actually... Well... No, I cannot land with this tank. You'll have to see my design to see... I cannot no, land I with it. No, I saw the design. Okay. Um, is very forgiving. When it comes to landing. We can attempt it. Cole... Oh. Yeah, I was about to uh, welcome you, Cole, but never mind. Peace! Yeah. Minmus has mm -hmm. really low gravity, so you don't need to ditch anything. Just land carefully and SIS will keep you craft standing upright. Uh, Jeb Kerman, welcome. 16865, welcome. And Hugo Van Payne, how you doing? Forgive my outburst, but I don't uh, take Wait. well to trolls entering my room. Wait, there was a, uh, someone actually got the Twitch name of Jeb Kerman. Oh yeah, Jeb, Jeb Kerman's been here for a while. Uh, I, I, I've seen him a numerous times coming in here. It's a J3B. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. J3B that. Kerman. <laughs> yeah. Congrats on, on the name, guy. Yeah, no, that's, that's awesome. Great name. Um... So, have you landed on the MUN before? Yes. I wouldn't just go straight to Minimus. I mean, I guess you could, I actually had, I think somebody almost had me do the uh, back in beta. Um, I'm not sure if I did or didn't. I may have landed on Minimus before I did this. I don't know. With Minimus, you can kind of overshoot if you're, you're used to MUN, so it's a little, you know, a more feather charge. Yeah. Um, we're approaching. I'm 18 seconds from. Oh, crap. Um, it's going to be a two minute burn the way that this is because I got the engine throttled. Uh,. If I adjust it, it's actually going to push that time to burn forward. So I have time to adjust this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because you were on 10%, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's better. Now it's a 20 second burn. And we'll do it later. So that was, yeah, two minute burn. Uh, no. Now having that, you know, doing it that way, I would guarantee saving some Delta V, though. I mean, or like, it would be hard to waste the Delta V, and so that's nice. It's a, you get more precision burns there. So there, there's pros and cons to both of those, I guess. Yeah. Especially when you're doing a longer burn, the... Uh... Everything before the actual burn time that you have to be like like the 
instant impulse, you um, you waste because you got to uh, make up for it on the other side. That is a different vector direction. It's a gravity thing. Yeah. Stupid twist here. Yeah, no, that um, ship could easily land on the mon uh, on Midmus. Yeah. In the configuration it's in. Uh, let's see. Yes, Cole was welcomed by a hammer flying in his face. Yes. yes. Alright, well, I with this, I am going to get a soda. Now, we're going to want to set this next note at the Apo. Right? And do our land from that? Um uh, it doesn't matter. I mean they're they're pretty much they're pretty similar. Yeah. For for minimus, like I said, it's it's forgiving on the landing. Okay. Oh, and yeah, at that app that yeah, no, that's that's uh Yeah, we're at a 20, 24, 26. Yeah. Twenty four point eight, twenty six point nine. So there's a two thousand variation here, but... Now we're just gonna... Like, I'm gonna let you guys look at that. Obviously, I've got some time here. Uh, I'm gonna go on and do a save. Give me a soda. Be right back. Oh, come on, work. Beard of Vision! Okay, well that broke. Um, I was trying to put up my uh, intro, and I guess one of my hotkeys conflicts with something, and it had me start to burn. I'm not sure what it what it did there. Oh, yeah, those hotkeys include control in there. So if At I bring up yeah, if I bring up Beardo Vision, it uh, <laughs> it'll throttle. I didn't even realize that, so I gotta be careful with that. Yeah, like you said, at least I saved. I think that was six that I just did. Yeah. I don't see a flat place on your orbit right now. That's the problem. What's that? I don't see a flat place on your current orbit. Oh, for, to la to actually a flat place to land. Yeah. Uh, that right there maybe. There's not a lot. We don't want to be on the dark side, right? Yeah. Uh, not unless you know exactly what you're doing. You know I do. Um, no, it looks like. Uh, oh wait, no, there. It looks like this. This is probably it right here. I'm going to put this node over it. I mean, obviously that's not where we want, but uh. No, right right at the equator it looks Yeah, it looks semi flat right there. Yeah. I see it. I don't know how we can tell it's the equator. Yeah, I guess that's that's the equator. When I zoom out more, it's going to give me something. Yeah. Midpoint between the darkness. That's what I call the equator. Okay, so that's that's not that wouldn't be an equator though. The darkness would be. It's close enough to the equator. Yeah, yeah. 